Welcome to our late tips. My name is Alex Hughes. Today we're installing the Vectorworks plugin on Windows so that we can take a Vectorworks file and export it out into L8 successfully. Uh, if you're asked for the Mac version of this, there is a second video that covers that process. Let's jump in. So we're in our L8 installation folder currently, so we can see that mine is located in the default location of local disk C, L8, and we're looking for the folder called install, and we can see it here. And we can see we've got a bunch of stuff here. We've got the uh, remote server for Mac, and we've got the plugin folder, which is what we're interested in today. So if we go into plugins, and we open with Explorer our plugins, we can see that we've got VWLC, which is Vectorworks, and in the PC folder we've got Win32, which is for 32-bit operating systems, and we've got 64-bit, which is for 64-bit operating systems. We're interested in 2020, because that's the version of Vectorworks we're running, but as you can see, there's versions that range all the way back to 2015 available. In some Allied installations, this install folder or plugins may not exist. You may need to reach out to Allied directly or your Allied distributor, and they should be able to provide you with those plugins. Uh, versions that have expired, such as LC version 57, will not have all of the plugins and you will require an upgrade to get higher versions. So now we're going to take these files, we're just going to simply copy them and we're going to paste them into our Vectorworks folder. So we can see that we've transitioned across to the default location of where Vectorworks 2020 is installed on my computer. And we can see that there's in program files, Vectorworks 2020, and in the plugins folder, we can see all our plugins. All we have to do is copy and paste this in, and it's going to ask for confirmation, and we're just going to click continue. And we can see that those files are in now. Now we're going to quickly pause the video, and we're going to jump into Vectorworks and load the plugin in. I'll see you in a sec. All right, you join us. We've got Vectorworks 2020 loaded up. And now that we've installed the plugins, we just need to tell Spotlight where and how to utilize those plugins. So we need to go to Tools, and we need to go to Workspaces, and we want to edit the current workspace. And then we're going to get a little prompt that looks like this. And we can see our workspace name at the top. I normally leave it the same way that it is, but you can name it something like L8 Tools if you work across different programs. And then we need to scroll down the list until we see LC, and we can see that we've got three options. Now, depending on the way that you do things, we can put these export buttons in two locations. Some people put it with all the other export options here. Personally, for me, I like to put it under Spotlight because I treat it as a Spotlight thing. So we'll just expand the Spotlight menu. And when I refer to the Spotlight menu, I mean the ones that we've got at the top here. So you can put it anywhere you want. I prefer to put them there. So we want to add all three of these here. So I'm going to drop them in under Spotlight. And then I'll run through what all of them do. So LC export all will export everything in your Vectorworks file. Selected is really handy if you've got massively complex files and you want to break them up. And visible is used when we want to just export the layers that we've got turned on currently. So now that we've got those in, we're going to click OK. And we can see that we've already got a little bit of a stage loaded up here while uh, my Vectorworks reboots. And loads in the plugin. Yep, there we go, cool. And now we see under Spotlight, we've got three buttons available here. So we're going to want to pretty much export everything. So we've got a uh, fairly basic festival rig here with a little bit of truss and a little bit of, uh, bit of lights. And we can see that if we click on one of our lights and expand this out, we can see that we've got unit numbers already keyed in. So now we can go Spotlight and we're going to click Export All and we're going to get our export location. So we're going to want to put it in Local Disk C, L8 and then we're going to create a new database folder for it. 
if you've already created a database uh, or you want to put it in a different location you can do that as well but here I'm just going to create a database called L8 demo that we'll load into later and then inside of that folder because it's a new one we don't have any of the normal files we're going to give it a folder and we're going to call it add-ons and then we're going to put just version 1.3dl which is the proprietary format of L8 so we're going to call it version 1 stage and we're going to click save and then it's going to ask us where are we pulling our user ID from and in this case we know that our unit number is where we want all of our fixed IDs to come from so we click OK and now it's going to go through and prepare all those fixtures this process can take some time depending on how complex your file is you may also find with big uh, models that have been done in SketchUp or and then brought into Vectorworks you might get a polygon error here that means you'll have to break up or simplify your meshes before you can bring your file in but once that's done, we're ready to load into L8 and I'll join you when we're back in L8. Alright, welcome back. So now we're in L8. So now we're going to bring our uh, our freshly exported files back in. Uh, process is reasonably simple. We're going to start with the room objects. So if we go room and we go browse 3D model and then we go explorer, we're going to get a nice little big bright pop-up window that looks like this. So what we want to do is we want to go back a folder because it always starts in the furniture folder. We want to locate our database that we've uh, put the, fo the files in. And in add-ons, we can load in this file. Now this add-on folder that I created, and we might see that we've also now got a populated show file. Uh, that's because I merged it in on top of an existing show. Uh, but the add-ons folder is what I call the folders that I create and put all these sort of Vectorworks add-ons in so that when I send off a project to a customer or someone else that needs to work on this file, I know all I have to do is zip up this database folder. So anyway, in the add-ons folder, we find this version one file and we're gonna click and it's gonna load in. And we're gonna see that it comes in here. If you're finding that your objects that should be sitting at zero aren't coming in at zero, for example, you know, stuff that should be on the floor isn't on the floor what you can do is you can grab your floor object here and then you can say this is world center and what that'll do is it'll start all these altitudes and all of that kind of stuff from that position so we could bring in another object such as a stage deck and do the same and make it the world center but most of the time you're just using the floor so that we know that if we click on this bit of truss we know that it's exactly 7.8 meters off the deck now that we've got that in, let's bring our lights in. So we go into DMX. We repeat the process by going to import in the top left hand corner. We go explorer again, and then we navigate to that same file that we used before, just under DMX this time, add-ons here, and we click and we wait for the magic to happen. And we've got, there it is, our full rig has come in all in one flow. The first thing that you want to do after bringing fixtures in with everything selected is you want to disable zoom, frost, and especially focus. By doing this, it means that the zoom in your fixtures is going to work effectively, as well as the frost and your focus. If we left fo focus set to auto, which is the default in L8, what we'd get is we would never have any DMX control of our focus. So just here running these lights up, we can see that we can bring them here. Let's actually just go one because it'll illustrate the point better. And if I go into a gobo here, no matter what I do here, the gobo will not focus. To resolve this, we can just once again, control A select and ensure that focus is disabled. And then with that same fixture selected, we can now soften out gobos just like real life. And the same with the zoom. If you're having issues, this will be the reason that you're having issues. Anyway, that's a full file imported into L8. It looks stunning. Uh, all our fixtures are in the right orientation as well. If they're not, we can go through and tweak them. If we discover that like here, our uh, MXs, MX blades are actually, let's say BMF files, we can jump in, select all of them by double clicking on one and it'll select all of that fixture type. And then we can simply just go browse find our uh, 
BMFL by typing and pick the correct mode. We can also see all the fixture IDs have come in correctly as well, as well as patch for the fixtures that are patched, such as all of these Robins. Anyway, thanks for watching. My name is Alex Hughes. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to the respective support teams uh, or the private Facebook group. Thanks for watching.